Sija, Martin, Views. Canadian Jewish Views. If you're new here, welcome. In these videos, we talk to and about Canada's vibrant Jewish community. Please like and share this post. Today, wise words from Rabbi Elise and a surprise visit from Gail Asper, who wants to take you to Tel Aviv. But we begin with inspiring music. Born in Hungary, raised in Israel, and now a naturalized Canadian, Moshe Hammer is an internationally renowned violinist. Part of his renown comes from his deep devotion to bringing music to vulnerable youth. In 2005, Toronto suffered through what became known as the Year of the Gun. Shootings and violence reached alarming levels. Deeply troubled by the growing number of youth tangled up in this violence, combined with a love of music, Moshe founded and fundraised for the Hammer Band. Then, he gave a whole bunch of vulnerable youngsters the gift of music, shifting them from violence to violins. In 2007, there were 40 students in two schools. Today, the Hammer Band teaches 1,100 students in 42 schools. Can you imagine the difference that makes in the lives of young Canadians? Changing tunes, changing lives, this is a very Jewish story. Let's hear from the Hammer. Music is the universal language. It always amazes me how it can connect between us human beings. There are wonderful studies that show us how much actually we learn, especially as kids, when we take music classes. It has been, it has been shown that when a kid takes music around the age of 9, 10, 11, there are some amazing connections made in our brain. I remember when I was a kid, there was the word mitzvah, which always touched my heart to know that we can actually do something wonderful for another human being, and it makes both of us feel great. And as I uh, became an adult, and now I have hundreds and hundreds of kids who play in the hammer band, it's wonderful to see how much our giving to the kids brings in them, brings out of them. All this, all this, I'll say it, all this love. At the Hammer Band last year we taught well over a thousand students. And yet, it is one on one that really counts. Just like the old Jewish tradition of Tikkun Olam, that when we save one person, we save the whole universe. For the music, Moshe, we thank you. And for the leadership, we applaud you. Voulez-vous partir à Tel Aviv? Hey, you want to go to Tel Aviv? Hello, Canadian Jewish viewers, and Shana Tava to you all. I'm Gail Asper, and I would like to personally invite you on a star-studded virtual trip to Tel Aviv, Israel, to preview the world's Jewish museum designed by world-renowned architect Frank Gehry. We will be taking flight on Tuesday evening, October 13th at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern, all seats are first class and you don't even have to arrive three hours early. Our hosts are going to be Howie Mandel, Jason Alexander, Mayim Bialik, and Frank Gehry himself is going to share why he wants to create this museum. If you believe the Jewish story is as fascinating and inspiring as I do, you won't want to miss this trip. So please go to worldsjewishmuseum.com, click on the event ticket button, scroll down, and you'll find tickets and sponsorship. I really hope you'll join us on this wonderful journey to Tel Aviv. And please don't forget to support your Jewish Federation campaign. Thanks a lot. See you on Tuesday. I spoke to Gail yesterday afternoon. When I joined the call, I was tired. I had the afternoon blahs, you know. After 10 minutes on Zoom with Gail, I had so much energy, I sprinted around the block. And I think that's the level of energy that you can expect from this event, which celebrates a new kind of Jewish museum. Lots of info in the show notes. Also want to say a big thank you to Susie, Tracy, and Mo at the Asper Foundation. CJ is the advocacy agent of Jewish federations across Canada, and our mission is to protect the quality of Jewish life in Canada through advocacy. We continue to lobby for more resources for the charitable sector, including our federation partners and the agencies they support, so they can continue to do what we need them to do to get us through this stupid pandemic. 
We were horrified to learn about the murder of Mohammed Aslam Zafis in front of his house of worship by someone with apparent ties to a neo-Nazi group. Not the Canada we want to live in, and we joined many other civil society groups in calling for more action to stop the spread of extremist hatred in Canada. Hey, we have tons of other stuff going on. We met with Premier Ford in Ontario, with Dominic Anglade, new leader of the Liberal Party in Quebec, and with Elections BC, who are helping get the message out about where to vote, when to vote, and how to vote safely in the upcoming BC election. There's a lot more stuff we're involved in, and best way to track it is follow us on social media. Jewish, black, female, brilliant, and deeply committed to making the world a better place. Anime Paul is now the leader of the Green Party of Canada. Madame Paul, kol hakavod, nous applaudissons votre victoire, and we look forward to working with you on a range of issues important to our community. And now, words of wisdom from the always inspiring Rabbi Elise Goldstein. See you soon. A bientôt. Chag Sameach, everyone. I'm speaking to you from my sukkah, which to me is a contradictory and double symbol, which somehow works together. It's a symbol of our fragility, our vulnerability on this earth. We're open to the elements. We feel the rain and the sun and the cold and the warmth. And it's also a symbol of our resilience, of our strength. We're in this sukkah for eight days. We're remembering that we managed to get through the desert, to get to the other side, to get to the promised land. And so we sit in the sukkah to remember both our vulnerability and our resilience. What fabulous themes for living in this pandemic that we have fragility, but we have strength. So as you um, take the etrog, remember that there is beauty in this world. There is splendor in this world, Hadar. And as you take the lulav, remember there is strength in this world. We have those qualities of strength, beauty, and glory. And let's remember them. Chag Sameach.